Hi, I'm Heidi Brockmeyer with Fertility TV, and I'm going to tell you what you can do to increase your AMH levels when you're trying to conceive. If you've been told by your doctor that you have low AMH, they may have said there's nothing you can do to improve the number. Well, I have seen the number increase, so there are things that you can do. AMH, which is anti-malarian hormone, is an indication of how well your ovaries are functioning and is believed to be also an indication of your ovarian reserve. So if you have low AMH, which would be considered 1.0 or lower than 1.0, then uh, it may be believed that you have very little ovarian reserve left and or that your ovaries are not functioning very well. Now, of course, if you're 40, you have less egg supply than when you were 20. That's just math. You, you've lost them in those 20 years. But if your ovaries aren't functioning well, they're not going to be able to recruit the eggs for ovulation, and they're also not going to be able to mature them very well. So you want to make sure that the focus is really to improve the ovarian functioning. We, nobody knows for sure how many eggs you have left, but it's not just a matter of how many you have left, but how well they develop and uh, the quality of them. So you may have more left than your AMH would indicate if your ovaries just aren't recruiting them. Uh, but even if you don't have as many left as would be ideal, you want to make sure that your ovaries are doing the best that they can do to recruit them and mature. So uh, one important supplement you can focus on is vitamin D. There was a study that showed that women with uh, deficient levels of vitamin D were more likely to have low AMH than those that were not deficient in vitamin D. So it's a simple blood test and it's a simple treatment. You just take a vitamin D supplement if you are deficient in vitamin D. So I would get the test in this case uh, from your doctor or naturopath and see if you just need a low dose like 1,000 or 2,000 milligrams a day or if you need a high dose like 10,000. Another good supplement is L-arginine. It's been shown to improve circulation to your ovaries and also to help with egg quality. But you should take four to five grams of it for it to make a difference. Now, if you have any autoimmune or inflammatory issues like lupus, if you have allergies or endometriosis, I suggest you watch my endometriosis video for some tips on managing that because that can affect your ovarian function. For instance, if you have endometriosis on your ovaries. One of the goals is to increase circulation to your ovaries and a castor oil pack an abdominal massage are really great ways for doing that. I have videos that give you instructions on how to use both of those tools, so you can check those out. Also, Chinese medicine, acupuncture, acupressure, and herbs are excellent tools. I've used all of these tools in my clinic, as well as through the program that I teach women to use self-acupressure called Total Fertility Wellness. So women in my clinic, as well as globally, I've helped to increase their AMH levels through these tools. So I would really encourage you to use them. In fact, you can sign up for the free acupressure video here at the link below, and it will help to increase circulation to your ovaries, as well as to help with hormones and balancing the hormones and balancing the hormones that go to your ovaries. Um, make sure you're also reducing stress. I see stress is a huge factor with AMH and I've seen women who have taken measures to reduce their stress in their life and get more rest and breathe and I've seen that alone make the difference in them successfully uh, increasing their AMH levels. Another great tool is bone broth. So bone broth is been used in Chinese medicine and now it's kind of a health trend outside of just a uh, Chinese medicine world uh, but it's very good at nourishing your body and nourishing your ovaries so I have a post a blog post with a recipe for bone bro broth and I'll put that below um, but you can drink it every day like you would drink tea and that can help as well give you some of the nutritional support to increase your AMH levels. So please leave comments below and sign up for the free acupressure video. It's very easy and you can start right now to reduce stress and increase circulation to your ovaries to help increase those AMH levels.